afternoon listeners thank you very much for joining us again today uh, today we have got a very special guest here with us her name is Antoinette Meyer Antoinette thank you very much for joining us today I really appreciate it and the topic of today's discussion is you are not alone so Antoinette thank you very much for joining us just in a nutshell please tell us a little bit about yourself hi Lauren um, I just want first I want to um uh, say thank you for our Heavenly Father. Uh, it's a privilege um, to be part of the po- uh, podcast. Wonderful. And I just want to say thank you for uh, yourself, Lauren, and the team. Uh, it's an honor. It's an honor to, to speak today and it's an honor to to be here. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you very much for offering your time and I'm so looking forward to having this conversation with you Thank as well. You. So if you would uh, not mind, Antoinette, please just read again for us Proverbs 31 verse 10 to the end. Thank you so okay. much. Okay, I'm going to start at number 10. Uh, who can find a voracious wife? For her, wor- for her worth is far above rubies. The heart of her husband, so, um, sorry, don't worry. Her husband um, safely rushes her, so he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and willing works with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She brings her food from afar. She also rises while it is yet night and provides food for her husband and a portion for her maid servants. She considers a field and buys it. From her profit, she plants and a vineyard. Uh, she gets herself with strength and strengthen her arms. She uh, perceives that her merit dangers is good and the, and the land does not go out by night. She stretches out her hands to the distaff and the hands holds a spindle. So uh, she extends her hands to the poor. Yes, she reaches out to her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of show for her household, for all her household is clothed with scrolled. She makes transparency for herself. Her clothing is fine line and purple her husband is known in the gates when she sits among the elders of the land she makes linen garments and sells them and supplies sashes for the merchants strings and honor or her clothing she shall rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and on her tongue is the law of kindness. She watches over the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children, uh, her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done well, but you excel them all. Um, Sean is deceitful and beauty is passing. But a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. Hmm. So I'm sure if you look at that scripture again, Anthony, with our topic being, uh, you are not alone. Yes. This is a very busy woman. 
I mean, I don't even think she has time in a day to think how if she is alone or Absolutely, not. Absolutely, yes. And um, you know, and that is really what we want to encourage our listeners today is that, you know, I listen to young women today, and they will say stuff like, you know, my biological clock is ticking, mm-hmm. and they start getting desperate to mm-hmm. get a partner for life. Yes. Same with you know divorcees when they get divorced mm-hmm. and. We all know that is a very difficult situation to find yourself in because most of the time they've got children. The other people that are also divorced also have got children and it's mean, mine, yours and ours. Yes. And that becomes very difficult to navigate. Mm-hmm. And then also, you, you know, you look at your uh, retired people, mm-hmm. retired men or ladies, yes. and then they just f- start feeling very alone. Mm-hmm. And then what they most of the time they will do is they will find a partner just for the sake of getting a partner. Yes. And I think that is very dangerous. Absolutely. Don't you yes. also think yes. so? Yes. So, you know, and I looking at Proverbs 31 woman again, you know, what I love about her story and when uh, the Bible talks about her, I mean, she is not keeping herself busy with things that... She keeps. Uh, she doesn't mind other people's business. She's an actor in her own play. She's yes. not an extra in somebody else's yes. play. And what I mean by that is, you know, she's focusing on what she needs mm-hmm. to do mm-hmm. every day. Yes. And it's incredibly important that we also look at the wisdom mm-hmm. behind these verses, mm-hmm. which is when we talk to people that find themselves not in a relationship. It's incredibly important, yes. Anthony. Don't you think that one should get that partner for the right reasons? Yes. Um, the other day we were sitting in court and a lady was sitting behind us and she was saying that you know her husband and herself has been separated for over five years, but she's suing him for maintenance. And, um, but she can't really stand being with this person. Mm-hmm. And then she ended up saying, and I, I asked her, you know, so what business did she do while she was uh, still, you know, at the age that she can work? And she said she was, in house, was a housewife. So now again, looking at the Proverbs 31 woman, you know, if we as women mm-hmm. are able to stand on our own two feet, yes. earn our own money, yes. we don't become reliant Absolutely. on other men. Yes. And then a lot of the time what happens is these men can become abusive. Yes. Uh, they did not really figure out whether this man is really a person that has got a personal relationship with God. Absolutely, yes. A lot of these women get themselves in relationships where the men aren't working. Yes. And they end up moving into their house. Yes. They are sitting around. They're yes. not really contributing. Yes. And then the other thing is, you know, if this person is not improving you. Yeah. Why are we even going exactly. for an option like that? So my question to you then, Anthony, would it not be better for a lady to rather be on her own Absolutely. and find herself first Absolutely. before she gets involved in a relationship like that? Absolutely, yes. And so in your situation, um, you have got such a wonderful husband. I love the whole <laughs> combination of Anton and Antoinette. I'm sure there's a story behind so that. Be, yeah. Amen. <laughs> so please tell me, how did you and Anton meet each other? Was it love at first sight? And how did your journey start when you met each other? You know what, Lauren? You won't believe me. You won't believe me. Um, you will say, Anton and Antoinette, it's meant to be. It was. But when I first met him, he was in the bullies, okay? okay? And he was very arrogant. Really? Very arrogant. Sure. But in a nice way now, because uh, we must also understand we were living in the world. Yeah. That, on, on that time, okay? And it can't be easy being a policeman as well. I mean, exactly. you see Stress. some Stress. terrible things being Absolutely. in the police force. Yes. And then I said to my mom, Please, mm-hmm. if Anton call again, I am not available. Wow. I, I don't want to speak to you. Wow. <laughs> I did not know that. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> but at the, at the time when it, it goes on and on and on, I felt in love with this person. Why? What was those characteristics that you loved so much yes, about him? It was, uh, you know, it's, it's like a... Um, is bold. Uh, okay, wow. Not afraid. Uh, no, not afraid at all. Wow. So, yeah, he's, yeah, he's got very um, 
a marketable, um, how can I say it, uh, points of he knows what he wants. Wonderful. You know, so that's great. Then we, then we, um, yeah, then we, uh, it wasn't love, then he asked me to get engaged. Oh, we had lots of, of problems. Like? Uh, oh, yeah, you know, okay, let me, let me say that um, it's, it's part of my testimony, and I don't want to put him on the spot, no, no, but there was like, you know, if you are in the police, you're drinking and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, those kind of things, yeah. Yes, and so uh, that wasn't just for me. So okay. then we broke up. Wow. Then wow, I, that's I interesting. I do believe it was God's will, so we came we reunited, we reunited, reunited. reunited again, and so yeah. Wow. So then we married. And but how long was it from the mo point that you? It was about we were engaged for four years. Wow. Then he asked me to marry. I said, okay, it's fine. I will marry you because, you know, I was like, when he walk, I was like, um, unbit. You know? Oh, yes. The, uh, the ground. Wow, that you walked on. Yes. Amazing. I, I, I loved him so, so, so much. You still love him that much. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That's amazing. Yes. So, um, a long, uh, to, to make it long short, um, yeah, so then we get married and, oh, your stuff was just not, not lacquer and in the beginning and uh, so then I ask him, um, can we start uh, you know, for the family. I want a baby and he said, Yeah, it's fine, we can we can start say after two uh, two years okay. because he wants to study first. Okay. You know, for the police and so 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 that he, he ranks can go up in the police. Wonderful. So that's also for our own benefits because yeah. then the salary is better of and you know the lifestyle is lifestyle is um, getting expensive and and and, and, and so especially when you start a family then absolutely you want to make sure that they're taken care of absolutely in that way. yes and then uh, what happened we he said to me uh, i want i would never forget it he said to me um we can start the family and i said let's Here we start go. <laughs> Yes. How old were you then? When I was twenty-five. Wow. Okay. Yo, I was twenty-five, and um, we are married now for thirty-two years. Congratulations! Thank you very much, Laura. It's <laughs> <laughs> God's grace. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. But anyway, yo. So then we started the family, and I don't, I don't know if I, I maybe was very naive on that stage. Yeah. But. Then I was starting to go to Jet and Eckers and wow. buy baby clothes. Wow. I had a, um, in the in a room, um, I had a big, 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 um, you know, like a, where I can put the baby stuff in. Wardrobe. Like a wardrobe, yes. Yeah. And I bought, oh, I bought blankets. I bought every month when I get a salary. Wow. Then I bought, and I, yes, and I bought um, bottles and I said to my mum, I'm going to buy a pram. She said, no, stop, stop the lorry. Just wait a bit. And this was right in the beginning. The baby was not on the way yet. Or were no. you pregnant already at that no, time? No, no. Then that. what happened... Um, I had about, shoot, I can't remember how many stuff in that wow. cupboard. Wow. So um, then uh, nothing happened sure. with the, you know, the, the pregnancy. Yeah. So Anton said to me, okay, you know what, uh, let's go, now I say to him, but let's go to the doctor. Yeah. Just to make sure. Yes. Because it's about, it was about two, three, four months trying, trying, trying to have a family, you know, the baby, the baby yeah. and a family. So, um, yeah, uh, God didn't bless us with children. Uh, sometimes, you know, and, and, it's, it, it, and it's, a, it's a long time back, you yeah. know, but sometimes um, I do get emotional about it, yeah. especially when 
uh, my sister's daughter yeah, of course. and my you know family or a friend yeah. uh, gets a baby yeah, of course and then I was like um, sure you know I was sad, sad, yeah. sad yeah. yeah so but um, you know what is the the big 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 thing you, what worked for me um, I have to make peace Yes. I have to make peace. God didn't give me and Anton uh, any children. Yeah. And there was not like questioning him why. Yeah. Um, and I think also if you can make, um, uh, you know, what is the right word? If you can accept it. Yes. That's the big thing. Yes. Then you can go on. 100%. But if you can't accept it and let go, sure. then it's going to you it's going to drive gonna, you crazy, yes, and you're going to have an obsession. Absolutely. You know. So yeah. Uh, so uh, my healing was, um, and then we 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 wasn't in um, a, re a relationship yet with God. Wow. Yeah. So. Um, then we start uh, 2008. Anton was in a in a car accident. Wow! So then we got a serious one, a very very serious wow. one. I will show you photos later. Wow. He's got a testimony. He, he uh, wrote a sure. book about it. Wow! So it was only God's grace wow. also, and um, so yeah. So I think that. Um, yeah, then, then 2008 we gave our hearts to the Lord. That's wonderful. And yeah, and but uh, spiritual children, yes. we've got a lot. We love children. Um, it, it doesn't matter the color, color age, race, nothing, nothing. Nothing. We're not in for it. Wow. So yeah, that is That's actually amazing. Yeah. And and it, it's so amazing when we look at scripture and we look at at Titus, um, Titus two. Uh, that is our responsibility, you know, especially yes. our generation. I think it's even more applicable than yes. any other generation because it specifically talks about. Working with the older woman mm -hmm. and working with the younger woman. Yes. So we are, I mean, we are in our 50s. <laughs> um, and, you know, and that is such a perfect age where, where that is actually our assignment. Yes. And um, I just find it so incredibly um, fulfilling mm -hmm. when you start working with uh, teenagers yes. and women that are really broken. And then terrible things that they have gone through in their lives and... Um, and a lot of the time, I think it's almost got to do with it 90% of the time of underlying rejection issues and Absolutely. daddy issues yes. and those kind of issues that create this um, sense of they don't know what, what their identity is. Absolutely. And I think the biggest um, gift we can give ourselves is to know who we are yes. and to know whose we are. Amen. Yes. Because I do truly believe that if we understand whose we are, mm -hmm. We will not accept men that are treat, mistreating us and treating us badly and abusing us, yes. whether it's verbally, physically, it doesn't matter. Yes. But I was saying to my friend the other day as well, if you're in an abusive relationship and Jesus will walk in through your front door, yeah. there's no way that he will say that is okay. No. You know, and a lot of these women, they ask me then, but Lauren, will you leave this person? You know, I don't think Jesus and God will ever want to be a have us in a relationship where we get beaten exactly. where we get mm -hmm. i have heard of stories where the women even get locked out of their house yes. the men put the clothes on the yes. sidewalk and then they can't even go into the house i mean how cruel is that very cruel and my question is mm -hmm. is we nobody deserves to be treated like no. that no absolutely nobody and i and i think it's so wonderful antoinette um that and that's why we are sitting here today and let's talk about Jessica Nyker. Okay. I know you love her as much as I do. And I feel so privileged that she was also a guest speaker oh, on one of my podcasts awesome. as well. Uh, we were, actually we talked about the topic creating Eden. Okay. And we were talking about how creating the environment mm -hmm. that you are in, how important your environment is yes. when you have to grow, yeah. all those kind of things. If, and just to, just to put you in the picture what we were talking yes. about, we said that if you look at plants, yes. 
they need good soil. Absolutely. Fish won't survive yes. if the water is polluted. Mm -hmm. uh, so our environment that we create, and, and I, we look at the, the situation of many people in South Africa, in our community in South Africa, around the world. And if we see how many people are exposed to couples that aren't married anymore, yeah. fathers that are missing in action, yes. how do we expect to raise a generation exactly. where they are the leaders of tomorrow, mm -hmm. where they know what a relationship between a husband and wife should yes. look like, yeah. or what? how do they even go about to actually... Um, have faith in what God has given mm -hmm. them in terms of talents and gifts. Yes. And that because we are made in God's image yes. and we were created, very creative. Absolutely. I always say to my clients, because I'm a business coach, I always say to them, we don't wear money mm -hmm. on us. We wear a shirt. Yes. That's an idea. Yeah. A pants is an idea. If we're wearing a hat, that's an idea. Yeah. Your handbag is an idea. Yes. Our glasses is an idea. Yes. Our phones is an idea. Yes. So everything we have around us are ideas. Okay. And that is where the money lies. It's yes. not the money. Don't focus on the money. Yeah. But focus on what you can create with your hands. Absolutely. If we look at Proverbs 31 again, I mean that woman, she's making her own clothes. Absolutely. She's making clothes for her family. Yes. She's making clothes for the people that her servants. She's she even has got a factory going where she has making this and selling it to merchants. She's bought her own vineyard. So she's a she she's in real estate. Biblically it says she bought her own piece of land and she has got this vineyard. So what can we say to each other today, Antoinette? It's like it's incredibly important that we realize that we are supposed to stand on our own two feet. Absolutely. We, as women, yes. we were created to be a man's helper, but to the point mm -hmm. where we cannot say that we are okay being on our own. Mm -hmm. That is a little bit of a red flag to me yes. if somebody says to me, I, I, I don't know how to be on my mm -hmm. own. Because we're supposed to, and you know, I just quickly want to also go into this verse um, where it says that um, praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who yes. comforts us in all of our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Uh, that is 2 Corinthians 1, verse 3 to 4. And then also John 14, verse 18, 6. I will not leave you as orphans. Yes. I will come to you. Yeah. Yeah. And that is what That's I love awesome. so much about what God did for us and what God did for us when he sent Jesus to yes. the earth. And when he was raised from the dead and he was ascended to heaven, he gave us the Holy Spirit. Yes. And we just went through Pentecost and all yeah. the wonderful things that we yes. celebrated in terms of that. Because of the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. We are never alone. Amen. He is our comforter. Amen. He is the one that gives us that bit of wisdom that we need when we have to make a Absolutely. very important um, decision. And ladies, listen to your gut. Amen. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. I know of so many stories, Antoinette, where the woman says, you know, I had this feeling in me that this is not the right thing. And I went again, I went along with it anyway. And then mm, a year, two years down the line, they say, I should have listened to my God. I, I wish I could have a rant for every time that I've heard that in my life. So, you know, ladies, we know we have intuition. Listen to that intuition. Yes. If you see this guy is being snappy towards the waiters or he has a bad relationship with his mother yes. Or he doesn't get along with his siblings. These are all warning signs. And you know what, ladies? Let's just be very honest with ourselves yes. today. We do not save them. Only Jesus Only can save. Yes. We cannot marry a man and no. think we will be the one that fix him, that he will stop the drinking, that he will stop that um, drug abuse. Stop being an abuser. That will not happen. It's only God I mean. that can change that. Yes. And, you know, we have to also talk about 
How important is prayer, Anthony? In your opinion, how does prayer help? Oh, for me, it's prayer is my, it's like breathing. I mean, it's like breathing. I agree. Uh, every morning when I wake up, I, 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 I talk actually to God. That's wonderful. Uh, if uh, if Anton's there or it's the dogs, oh yeah, they, the little Wally or Luna will think I talk to them. <laughs> but I talk to God. Yes. It must be absolutely a uh, personal relationship. Uh, yes. I yeah, mean. And like I say um, earlier, it's not. To know, it, it, it's it's uh, for for myself. It is good to know God. I know, but it, people say I know God, but do you've got a relationship with I God? Mean. It's the same with with you, Lauren. Um, I don't know you, but I can also um, you know a very bit uh, a relationship yeah, with person. you then I can know who Lauren is exactly you know just yeah but prayer is for me number one I mean and and also you know what what I find is that we have to remember that our the war is not flesh and blood no it's not it's a, it's a spiritual warfare out there ladies it's a war yes, out there. Yes. And we have to see it for that. And we cannot go to a person in the natural and think that we're going to have this discussion with them. We're going to talk sense into them. It doesn't have, work that way. We have to pray for them first. Amen. And if we're really struggling, we have to get a friend or two with us or even five or ten or however we need. But then we have to combine pray into the matter so that we, the God can work into that, in that person's heart. Because at the end of the day, it's only God and it's only Jesus yes. can, that create that, that change of heart Amen. that will bring the change. Amen. And um, so, yeah, so we really just want to, um, you know, just encourage you, our listeners, especially ladies, you know, be careful. Who you choose as a partner? Because yes. you know it, and I mean, you were saying that you have been married for thirty-four years. I mean, that is quite a long time, it underneath. Is, and, yeah. and I'm sure you're going to end up being at least sixty-eight years because you're still very young. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that is more than what some people, how old yes. some people get. Yeah. You know, and God hates divorce. Let's just say yes, that. absolutely. Yes, um, Moses did give a divorce letter, but because the people put pressure on Moses to give the divorce yes. letter, it was never God's heart Absolutely. to divorce. I mean, Jesus, in the Spirit, got married to the church. Jesus at no point is he going to say, I'm divorcing. <laughs> he could have, yes. but I mean, yeah. the greatest great as Auntie. I'm sure he's got plenty of opportunity to say, no, yes. I've had enough of this yeah, people. Absolutely. I don't want to have anything to do with them anymore. <laughs> But it doesn't. Yes. And, you know, and again, just um, as a final thought as well, you know, looking at John um, 3.16, God so loved the world yes. that he gave his only son, his only and best son mm -hmm. to die for us so that mm -hmm. we can have eternal life. Yes. So, you know, the price has been paid unto it. It's what are we going to do with that gift that he has given us. Absolutely. So, so Anthony, again, thank you very much for joining me today oh, in this thank podcast. You so much, and Lauren. thank you for just sharing your heart, your testimony, and also what you went through in terms of being such a wonderful spiritual mother, especially with Jessica Nike and oh. all the work that they're doing with Ignite yes. um, um, Revolution. And it's just amazing to see um, what is capable Yes. When people put their hearts together and have the same vision and the yes. same mission that they that they go on, um, so thank you very much for your time. I thank really you appreciate so it. much, Lauren. It's just really an honour. And yes, um, I just want to say to you, to go on with your good work and thank you so God much. bless you. Thank you and very everything much. that you do. Thank, thank you, you very much, it. Lauren. Oh, wonderful. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we can be your daughters and your sons. Thank you for the price that has already been paid. Thank you that we know that nothing we can do separate us from your love for us. Thank you for everything we get to do. Thank you for everything we have. Thank you for all the blessings that you give us. Thank you for all the open doors. Thank you for relationships. Thank you for growing. Thank you that we know we are a work in progress. And when we fail, you just say, again, my child. No condemnation, no nothing. You just love us that much. God, help us that we can be a, 
happy on our own. Yes. That we fe- don't feel like we have to have somebody to complete us. Mm-hmm. The only, the only thing or person that can ever fill that gap in our lives is you, God, mm-hmm. and you, Jesus, and you and the Holy Spirit. Nothing else will ever be able to fill that gap. And we thank you that you have already given us all of that so that we can don't ever have to feel alone, ever have to feel like we are forsaken or that we are rejected because that is not how you see us. Thank you that you see us all equal. We are all your favorites. We are all the apple of your eye. And thank you that we know that one day we will see you and we will have eternal life with you because you have already paid the price for that. We thank you, Jesus. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, listeners, for joining us today. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again. I was speaking to you again next week. And have a wonderful, blessed week. Goodbye. The radio station you can't live without. This is your radio. This is South Coast Radio.